Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson. You're watching Reality Survival. So right now I thought I'd give you just a real quick walkthrough on my DIY solar powered work cart. It's kind of like a mobile workshop is really kind of what it's turned into and I'm, I'm really liking it. I use it every weekend when I go out and uh, it's just it's just a cool machine. So let me go back here and start with this stuff. So if you guys hadn't seen the other video on, see I've just got tools and stuff in here. Uh, if you haven't seen the other video on the Energy Kodiak, I recommend that you take a look at it. This is just an awesome, awesome piece of machinery and every single time I use it, I like it more and more. I, I can't say that about a lot of pieces of equipment, but I just really like this thing. So what I've done, is uh, that's an 1100 watt hour battery bank that's in there and uh, I've got it hooked to this solar panel right here and then I've also got it hooked to get this out of the way two additional batteries so they're both deep cycle marine batteries uh, this one's a little little bigger than that one but you know just what I had and and so I just kind of used them if I was going to do it again I'd probably you know get the same ones but no big deal um, the Kodiak has built-in charger charge regulators and everything so that you know as uh, it's charging the main battery bank it also charges those two batteries now the one downside is is it doesn't have a way to meter the actual voltage levels of those two batteries so what I did is I just keep a hole I got a holes cut in the top so that I can just put my uh, my voltmeter down in there and check them if I feel like it's getting low now as long as the uh, it all it draws from the system all equally so as long as this one's above half here then I don't really have too much to worry about. Um, let's see here, what else can I show you? So I've added in, I've got my, my battery chargers. I've got three battery chargers on there. So when I'm using my cordless tools, I've got two there. And then I've got a radio here that's got a battery charger built into it. This is a little porter cable, uh, just an FM radio. And uh, Kind of getting bad reception now, but probably because I'm standing around or something. Anyway, it works pretty good. <laughs> um, and let's see, then I went ahead and I wired in some lights. You guys may have noticed that on the beginning. I've got a couple of switches here, and these are let's see those are 1200 lumen lights so i've got two 1200 lumen lights and i don't know how many lumens the middle light bar is but it's bright <laughs> it's brighter than the other two so they're they're you know definitely pretty good but that way if i'm working at twilight or in the evening or something like that and i need to turn some lights on then i can just flip that on there and uh i'm good to go it's got it all mounted to a, a gorilla cart and the cool thing about this gorilla cart what i really like is that I can take and just pull it with my four-wheeler because it's got the ability to change the handle from one side to the other so I can pull it you know wherever I want to go with the four-wheeler or I can just pull it by hand and then I went ahead and I got an additional set of Renergy 100 watt panels uh, that I can add on to it and uh, let's see if I can and I just got I got an extension cable here basically and I just run that out and I can put this second set of panels on there and that way uh, it'll it'll basically charge all those batteries pretty much in one good sunny one long good sunny day um, just today it was it was down about halfway and uh, and I got out here about noon and it's about I stopped about six and it almost recharged um the batteries just with the one panel today so with two panels on there um, it'll do a good job and it'll pretty much replenish it in one day so that is my diy solar cart pretty cool machine 
If you guys got any questions about it, let me know. I really like it. Uh, if you if you decide that you want to get an energy Kodiak, and this is kind of the heart and soul of the whole thing, then you can use Reality Survival at checkout, and it'll save you $275. Uh, you, instead of, uh, what is it, instead of 18 something, it's 1500 bucks basically. And I have figured it up on, you know, putting something like this together yourself, and you just can't do it that cheap. Um, and it's just such a smooth system. It works so well that, man, I just don't know how you can beat it. I really like this thing. But uh, anyway, that is pretty much my solar cart setup. And it's just, it's a sweet beast, man. I just pull it around. And the one thing I'm thinking about adding to it, if I can get enough space, or if I can find a small enough one, is a, a small air compressor. I'd like to put a little air compressor in there and have, uh, you know, the ability to air up tires and, and maybe even, you know, like do some uh, stapling with or stapling or, or finishing nailing or framing nailing with a nail gun. And then this thing would be, it just, it'd be awesome. I mean, I could do pretty much anything from it, you know, just as a little workshop. So anyway guys as always i definitely appreciate when you click the thumbs up button when you share it with your friends on facebook twitter and google plus and don't forget to live the six p's proper prior preparation prevents poor performance stay safe guys and go check out uh energy's website uh, i'll throw a link you know down in here and uh man i just don't think you can beat it i really don't uh, it's, it's just an awesome tool so far and i've used the heck out of it all right guys i'll talk to you later Bye.